At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway right now, the track is green again. The track came to life a little after 3 p.m. after a long rain delay and the laps were adding up quickly until about 10 minutes ago due to some sprinkles. But the pause was brief and drivers are back on the track. WRTV's Brad Brown is at the track with a look at how the schedule is getting changed up a bit due to the rain. Hey, Brad. Yeah, Amber, listen, you kind of know how these things go in the month of May here at the Speedway. Since the top of the show, we've already been back to yellow, back to green, back to yellow again, all for moisture over in turn three. Not really any rain, but when these guys are going 225, 230 miles an hour, a little bit of dampness shows up either on the windscreens or some of the onboard cameras they can see. They got to take a pause, run the safety trucks over there to make sure it's not really a thing. I can see turn three from our location here. Now, given we're about three quarters of a mile away from it, but you can see that there are some clouds over there and we'll be lingering here toward the end of this seven o'clock session is when practice is scheduled to end here tonight. So we'll be back and forth here over the course of the rest of the evening. Let's kind of show you how the day played out though. Again, yesterday the big story was they only got about 27 minutes of green flag action at the start of the first session of practice on Tuesday and the rest of the day was washed out. They were supposed to start at 10 a.m. here on Wednesday, but we came back to the track and it was a very rainy morning. It carried on through the midday. The rain finally started to dissipate around 1230 or 1 o'clock and the track safety crew, the jet dryers, they were able to get out on the track and start the process of drying things off. It takes about two hours to get this track from damp back to raceable. Then at 3 p.m., it came to life. Here come the crews, here come the drivers. They stack the tires, they light them up and ready to go. And just after 3 o'clock, they were finally able to throw the green flag on this Wednesday practice session. Now, the guys that have the toughest time with this shorter week are the rookies. Limited time already getting ready for qualifying weekend, and the clock doesn't keep ticking. That includes one of the highest profile rookies we've seen in Indy in quite a while. Obviously, I'd like to be out there, but... Um because it kind of is what it is, I guess. And, and the way I look at it is there's still so much more track time than obviously what I'm used to with 20 minutes or, you know, three laps in a sprint car. So um, I actually look at it as there's still like a ton of time left. I mean, obviously the loss of track time is not good, especially for us rookies. But on the other hand, you know, it gives us less time to overthink. Uh, you know, you can basically just head on straight into it. The other thing that I kind of have in the back of my mind is that my team has always had good cars around this place, which means less time for other people to catch up. The latest drives for the Chip Ganassi's team, so a little bit ahead of the curve as they get into the weekend here. And Kyle Larson makes a good point. After today, they have a 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock session scheduled for Thursday, noon to 6 on Friday. That's 14 hours potentially of practice for these teams as they head into the weekend. Of course, qualifying then comes up here on Saturday. They'll bump the boost up on Friday. We'll see how the weather goes, but got a lot ahead as we count our way toward the 108th running of the Indianapolis 500. We will have more for you as the week continues here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Brad Brown, WR TV Trackside. All right, Brad, thank you. Here's one way to brighten up a rainy day at the track. Butler mascot Blue Four, the famous Bulldog and members of the athletic department made their annual visit to Gasoline Alley to check out the garage of Butler grad IndyCar driver and team owner Ted Carp Ed Carpenter. It's, a, it's just something we've done for so many years now. It's always fun to kind of connect my past with Butler to the present with what I do in IndyCar and just bring two, two great institutions together and see one of our own out at the track. Um, we're proud to support him and proud of the way he represents Butler. And it's been amazing for me to, to get an education of, of the car and, and their whole process. Uh, it's really fascinating and uh, a lot goes into that. It's just been a great opportunity for us to be out here and supporting the Bulldog. Oh, look at that. Ed Carpenter Racing hopes to qualify three drivers for the Ed and Indy 500. That's Ed. Christian Rasmussen and Renus VK. We are still waiting to hear who will drive the pace car for the Indy 500, but we now know who will sing the national anthem before the race. It will once again be Jordan Sparks. Sparks rose to fame as the winner of the sixth season of American Idol. She has since gone on to become a Grammy nominated and multi platinum singer, songwriter, and actress. She's also no stranger to the 500. You may recall that she sang the national anthem ahead of the 2015 race.